King Fish Adventures. I'm the Shane Patrick, and we got a boat fishing adventure for you today. We don't go on a boat that much because of school and sports. When we do go on a boat, we just try to do more than one type of fishing. Today we'll be doing bottom fishing, trolling. This is a great show, you gotta watch it. Mahalo. Here we are leaving the harbor. Usually when we leave the harbor's mouth, we throw out our trolling lines. Cause you'll never know what you'll catch with those lines out. You can catch a small aku all the way up to a huge marlin, you never know. It was a short run to our bottom fishing spot. We're going to be fishing in about three to 500 feet of water. We're going to be using electric reels today. But as soon as we dropped our first line, some whales came around us. Usually when we have whales around us when we're fishing, we tend to move away. We don't want to get tangled with any of them. We actually had one of them breach really close to us out of nowhere. It scared Jane because he saw the whole thing. It was super close to the boat. Here we are with the lines down. We're doing deep dropping about 300 feet of water and I just hooked on to something using this electric reel. I'm not sure what it is yet, but we'll soon find out. It's gonna take a while to get up here. See, look, look, it's going up and down. Something's fighting. Yeah. It is. Look at that. Look at the rod tip going. Fighting, dude. 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 So Paka Paka, one of my favorite. Are we keeping this back? Yeah, oh yeah. Ooh, got something for Okay, I just hooked up on something big. Look at that. Take your time, take your time. We already broke a hook. And we hooked up to something and something bit that. We think it was a big shark by how it was fighting. We actually had some broken hooks and some cut line from the sharks. They're called tax collectors. 
because it can attack you by taking your fish. We got some fish, but they got a bunch too. Take your time. Came off. And I got something on. inside here and then we fold it up. Once we drop the setup all the way down, do a little bit of jerks, the chum scatters everywhere. Instead of throwing the bait on top of the top of the water, it's not even gonna go close to 300 to 500 feet. And then right here we have our branching system. We use this wire so it doesn't get tangled as much with the other lines. So the lines don't get tangled. Then we have our circle hooks. We usually put Opelu, Akuli, Ika, those kind of baits on top of this hook. Then you drop it down and you're fishing. So right here I'm just deep dropping and I got some. I don't know what it is yet. Oh, deep, are you deep dropping too? I'm like deep dropping at 500 feet right now. Here, Jane's hooked up to something. For these, we're using Ika and a coolie for bait. We're hoping to get the fish up without the sharks attacking it. It's really hard to get any of the fish up. It's crazy how much sharks are over here. It's pulling on you, Jaden. Somebody gotta get the net, Elijah. Go over there and get the net. Ozias can get it. All right, Ozias. Get the net for it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Just wait. We don't even know if there's even a fish on there. We've got to fold how many times already? got tangled with my fishing line. It just caught on top of this stuff. Okay. Do you see it, Elijah? Yeah, I see it. Elijah, Jay, Jay, you need to come this side, dude. Is there anything? Just caught, I was deep dropping and I just like was waiting for the bite and then just like hit down 
more. I thought it was another shark because we kept on catching sharks and then it like went a little bit more down. But I thought he came off a couple of times, but he was still on here. And this is, look at those teeth right there. They're like big. This was a table boss that we caught. We thought these guys were more in shallow water, not 500 feet of water. We hooked up trolling on the way back to the harbor. It's a mahi mahi. The problem is we don't have our small gaff and we only have a big net and a big marlin gaff. This is another mahi mahi Jane caught another day. But this one we used a net and it wasn't any problem. Mahi Mahis are such great eating fish. It's right on top, you see it? When Sarai was reeling in this Mahi Mahi, we thought we would net it just like the one we did with Jaden's. But this one had some other ideas. We netted a bunch of Mahis before, so we didn't think it would be much of a problem. The problem was the leader slipped out of Jaden's hand and went right towards the prop. This is a nice sized pool. You can tell by a square head. So I had to jump on there real quick. The prop wasn't turning, but the motor was on. So it was hard to see until my dad turned it off. But right when I got it off, it threw the hook out. And Sarai almost got it to net. If we had our small gap, we would guarantee have got this. Oh! I think I got it! I think I did! But on the way back, we were treated with a bunch of dolphins. There's a baby! There must have been almost like a hundred of them because there are so many dolphins. There is even some baby dolphins in this pod. It was crazy how much dolphins there were. There's even one with one of its dorsal fins cut off. It might have been a shark attack. Sometimes when the dolphins are in deeper water, they might have ahis underneath them. These dolphins kept jumping all around us and put on a great show for us. But once you stop, they kind of go away. They like to swim in the wake of the boat. Mahalo for watching the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to see upcoming videos. Mahalo.